What's up guys? Welcome back once again. I'm glad to have you in the studio today as we work on our custom grip tape project. I'm going to demonstrate three different techniques that you can use at home when customizing the graphics on your grip tape. I hope you guys enjoy the project. Alright guys, so we're starting this example with a somewhat transparent piece of paper with our logo sketched out on it. This will help us position over that cool graphic that's printed on the deck. I'm securing that with a piece of tape and then I'm going to position the grip tape over the top about where I want it to sit on the deck. Once I have the grip tape positioned about where I want it, I'm going to make a mark on the grip tape and the skateboard deck itself. This is really critical to get everything to line up when you go to stick the grip tape to the deck. I'm going to secure the paper to the grip tape on both sides, flip the whole thing over, slip the skateboard out from underneath, and slide a cutting mat underneath so I don't hurt my table. Cutting out the logo shouldn't be too difficult if you take your time. Please guys always remember, never cut toward yourself. This basically means that no fingers or any body parts are in the way of the cutting path of the blade. This is especially true if you're using an X-Acto because it can really slip easily. I'm going to use this remnant piece of logo to make a duplicate in clear grip tape. I'm basically going to flip both pieces over to the non-abrasive side trace out our original logo, then cut inside the lines so the clear grip tape piece will be slightly smaller than the original cutout. And this should fit right into our main cutout on the grip tape. Alright, so we're going to start our logo transfer by sketching out the logo on a somewhat transparent piece of paper. Then we're going to position the logo where we want, slide the grip tape back to the side, and then we're going to put a couple pieces of tape adhesive side up on the paper so that it can stick to the bottom of the grip tape. Position your grip tape over your drawing and press down in the middle so the tape can adhere. Flip the whole thing over and we're going to position a piece of graphite transfer paper under our drawing with the dark side facing the surface that we want the image to transfer to. Now we can begin tracing over our drawing to transfer the image to the grip tape. I like to use a ballpoint pen because you can clearly see where you've traced out already and it gives you good consistent pressure which you need to transfer the image. The transfer image appears backwards on the bottom of the grip tape which is what we need if we want it to show up correctly on the top of the grip tape. This portion can take a few minutes to complete. If you're using an X-Acto, make sure to have extra blades handy so that you can replace them when it gets dull. It's important to use a sharp blade so that you don't tear the paper backing on the script tape. That being said, once again, make sure guys never to cut toward your fingers, not even one time if you can possibly help it. The second part of this process will be completed after the grip tape is stuck to the deck. We'll move on to the third example before showing you the final step of this process. Alright, so this is the last example, the spray paint stencil, which is probably my favorite method. We're going to start by sketching out the image and then we'll move on to cut out the stencils.
first we're going to remove the F from the Fortnite logo. It's a lot easier to begin by doing this step. Then all you have to do is cut around the border of the logo and the stencil's done. And now for the fun part. I'm going to position the stencil over the grip tape in a position that I like. And then I'm going to weigh the edges down with some extra spray paint cans or anything that's heavy so that that paper presses really close to the grip tape and we get a good clean sharp edge. With spray paint, it's best to lay it down in short, slightly overlapping bursts. It's not a good idea to constantly hold down the tip of the spray paint can because you'll inevitably put out too much paint and it just won't look good. Now we can paint off the inner stencil. You'll notice that I'm taping large pieces of paper directly to the outside of this stencil and that's to prevent overspray. Guys you absolutely have to do this step because that spray paint will expel much further than you might expect. Now we can go ahead and grip up our deck. I'm making sure to line up the original marks I made in example 1 so that our cutouts line up. The cutouts can make it a little more difficult to remove that backing paper. Uh, I think this is just a skill that comes with practice, but in the end I believe that we got a pretty good result. Here I'm using a screwdriver that I'm not worried about getting a little scuffed up. When you outline the deck, whatever you're using, even if it's metal, is going to get pretty roughed up. Now the really fun part where we get to fill in the logo with paint marker. I'm using the oil based sharpie paint markers which seem to work really excellent. The tip does seem like a felt material but if you use a nice light touch it doesn't seem to munch them up too bad. The only real downside is that they are pretty expensive. You might need to push the tip of the marker in from time to time to get a little bit more paint to come out. I use a pad of paper to do this because sometimes a lot of paint comes out and you want to protect your project from flooding it with a bunch of paint. Also from time to time it's a good idea to shake these markers a little bit like a spray paint can but make sure guys the cap of the marker is on before you shake it.
thank you for joining us on this project. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video or if you used any of these techniques to customize your grip tape. Also make sure to subscribe and trigger notifications so you know when our next video goes live. We'll see you on the next project.